conceptual Jay sounded better than Jay Prince. People talk Real about talk, it. I ain't throwing shots. All of the elements. Hello, everyone. Dr. Rick Wallace dropping in on you. I hope that everyone has gotten their New York New Year off to a great start. As for me, I brought it in with um, my family and home, uh, enjoying one another, laughing, just really uh, talking to Marion about just how rapidly these kids have grown up. Uh, we've had kids in waves. We have kids in, our, in their 30s, and then we have the younger group. Uh, one has just uh, last year completed high school and is in her freshman year of college. Another one just had her sweet 16. So it's just, you know, crazy. Just looking at then our adult kids, you know, and uh, some of the challenges that they face and just being there for them and just really talking about that and being thankful uh, for the opportunity to be parents uh, with all of its challenges and, you know, and, and looking at where we've come uh, from as a couple. Uh, it's been great. And family is kind of why I'm here to talk with you briefly this morning on New Year's Day. And maybe you'll see this on New Year's Day. Maybe you see it sometimes afterward. But uh, everything is going to be relevant in some way. Uh, so again, whether you are a commercial holiday person or you're like myself, not really big on the holidays, but uh, totally uh, in, engrossed in the opportunity to share and love uh, on your family. Um, we are starting a new year, a new opportunity. Um, last year was challenging, uh, to say the least for most, uh, but we made it through with some bumps and some bruises. What we have to do now is be 100% engaged and involved in ensuring that this year is better than last year. Not just talking about the pandemic or business or finance. I'm talking about the whole of relationship, uh, the whole of our existence, the whole of our being, being a better person, being more aware of who we are, demanding more of ourselves, not accepting mediocrity as our lot in life. And so that's important. Um, I'm excited because this is the official release date of book number 23. Uh, which is merging souls, uh, healing, hope, and restoration um, in the Martin family. And um, this coming Monday will be the drawing. For those who pre-ordered the book, um, this is Monday will be the drawing, and one person will receive 12, a, a free 12 week package of counseling, coaching, whatever it turns out to be for you in your particular situation uh, with yours truly. That's a value of $2,540. Um, so uh, I'm excited about working with someone. I'm excited about being able to bless someone with that uh, wonderful gift of 12 weeks of counseling. Uh, I take what I do. Uh, seriously, I put a lot of time and effort and I take pride in uh, the results that I get. But I just wanted to remind you that today is the release date. And this is what we're going to do since we're not doing the drawing until Monday. Anyone who purchases the book between now and Monday at 3 p.m. Central Standard Time um, will still be entered into the drawing. Uh, to to win it, so you it's not too late. You can go ahead and you can do that. Um, I'm again excited about this book. This book deals with marriage in a very uh, in depth way. Uh, I think that it's one of my best uh, contributions via book uh, out of the 23, and I'm proud of all 23. But I think this one really, really, truly touches the depth of it. Uh, it comes from a very uh, principled, uh, proven uh, practice as well as it touches 
in many instances on the specifics and the needs and the, and the demands on marriages as it pertains to blacks and uh, that was something that I grappled with for a while because I I know that the profitability for uh, sales in particular would benefit by being broader and not being so focused on one particular group but as a black man and understanding the struggles that we have in empowering and preparing our black men as well as you know the things necessary to prepare and empower our black women and the importance of the marriage in that as an instrument and a conduit through which all of this is accomplished I felt the need to address it and I felt more of a responsibility to my people than I did to just simply selling a book that attracts a lot of people. Now the principles in, in this book will apply no matter what, but there are some u unique nuances that are discussed that are specific to my people. And that's the way I decided to go with it. And that was, you know, something I grappled with up until a few weeks ago. So there were some changes being made all the way up to the release date. And uh, there may be some adjustments over the next week or so to, to it as well. But we're going to get it out there. We're going to make it happen. Uh, I'm excited about it. Those of you who are pre-ordered, look for your books to start being shipped uh, this coming week. Um, and again, if you haven't pre-ordered it, you can still do it and have your name entered into um, the drawing for the 12 week uh, session, the 12 sessions, 12 weeks. So again, once again, uh, I encourage you to be prepared to go out and do something exceptional and extraordinary this year. Not because it's going to be easy, not because life is going to lie down and roll over for you, not because everything's just going to automatically align itself for you, but because there's something in persistence, there's something in being prepared, there's something in expecting more, demanding more, and moving towards what you see and what you expect and what you demand. And so that's my challenge to you. Live life on full this year. Don't, don't, don't you dare sit up and casually move through this year. You get up and you make something happen. You make a demand on life and then you hold life to it. And on that note, I'm going to get out here. You guys have an unbelievable day. I'm going to enjoy my family. Uh, but I had to bring this to you. On that note, I'm out. Hello everybody, Dr. Rick Wallace here, dropping in with a little special announcement. For those who have followed me for any stretch of time, you know outside of the businesses that I run, like Myriad Business Solutions, the Visionetics Institute, Odyssey Media Group, I also do a great deal of work inside of the inner city communities uh, in Houston, Dallas, and other areas. Uh, I'm asking now as we push a fundraiser that you support what the Odyssey Project is doing in the inner cities, uh, especially with programs like Black Men Lead, which is a rite of passage uh, initiative, and Restoring Ghetto for, Ghetto's Forgotten Daughters, which is a program focused on helping young girls, but boys as well, suffering from childhood sexual abuse, uh, rape, molestation, domestic abuse, uh, absentee fatherhood, and so many other things. Uh, the information will be in the box. Thank you.